I recently learned about a new app called Zillow 3D Home. It's a free app that lets you use your iPhone to create virtual tours and upload them directly to Zillow. Anybody making money doing virtual tours for real estate right now, look out. This could be a game changer. I'm finding out about it a little bit late, but I've been learning all about virtual tours and I just really wanted to know what is this free app all about? Is it worth spending the time learning it? I'm going to break it down for you. Here we go. With the Zillow app, there's basically two different capture options. There's the iPhone and there's this 360 camera called the Ricoh Theta. Uh, I tried to use my GoPro Fusion. It wouldn't accept it. I think it's basically just Ricoh Theta or iPhone. That's it. Um, in my opinion, it's just iPhone because anybody that's spent the $400 on the Ricoh Theta, you're probably more invested in virtual tours. Most likely, you're going to use a more robust piece of software than this Zillow app. So my first attempt with Zillow 3D Home, I opened the app up. I told it that I was gonna use my iPhone for capture. Um, I stood there in the entryway of my house. I held the phone out in front of me, spun around, just following the instructions. I did three other locations, kitchen, basement, um, one other room, the living room, I think. And I uploaded those panoramas, just followed the instructions on the app. It emailed me like 10 minutes later when the app was, uh, or when the tour was ready. I opened up the tour and I was kind of disappointed. Um, all the images had like little blurry areas where it just had trouble stitching them together. Um, and it didn't look terrible, but it wasn't anything that I would be excited about sharing with anyone. So I still wanted to give the app a fighting chance. So I improvised this tripod that held my iPhone vertically. Um, you can get one on Amazon for like 30 bucks. Um, you wouldn't have to use like Gorilla Tape or anything like I did. And uh, I went back, I hit the same four locations in the house. I uploaded those panoramas and they came out a lot better. So that's what I suggest. And even with that, you're only $30 in. It's still really a, a cheap option. So here's the workflow. You open up the app, you type in the address of where you're located, you click the label of the room that you're about to shoot, then you hold the camera on the tripod, spin it around, shoot that panorama, move to the next room, boom, fast, easy. When your panoramas are complete, you click this button that says panorama is complete. Super simple. The app does the rest. It'll send you an email when it's finished processing. Um, it's supposed to find common points between rooms and make the navigation for you. But for me, that pretty much failed. So I just had to adjust the buttons by rotating a little bit from each view. Um, and after that, it was all set. A partial pro to the Zillow app is the feel of it. The navigation's okay. The viewer is pretty good. It's a little bit choppy, but when you compare it side by side to something like that's paid like Kula or a Matterport tour, yeah, it's not as good, but it's not terrible. It kind of holds its own and it's free, bottom line. Cons of the Zillow app? Well, you just can't really fix anything. Once it's sent, there's no going back. So if you get home and you realize that like, oh man, I totally messed up this one room. There's a big blotch in the middle of it, or I forgot to like move this piece of furniture or something doesn't matter you can't redo it you have to basically redo the entire tour so now that you understand how to make a tour with the Zillow app let's compare the results of the Zillow tour to like a more traditional kind of expensive tour that was made with a Nikon camera using bracketed exposures on a tripod with paid software the whole works we're gonna compare the two here we go So what do you think? What do I think? No, I asked you first. What do you think? You couldn't decide? I know. I had a hard time deciding too. I mean, here's the thing. On one hand, the expensive tour is obviously a little bit better. It's smoother. It's faster. It's just kind of more comfortable. It feels like an old pair of slippers. Real estate agents, if you decide to use the Zillow app and make your own tours, you're going to save money. But if you're already hiring somebody to do interior and exterior photos and some drone images maybe, why not just hire them to do the virtual tour too? And then you can save time. It just kind of depends. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to consider. I hope this video helps. Like and subscribe. Say hi in the comments. And good luck.